bunch of meat. Hello, welcome to JLT Live today. Okay, so first of all, uh, because uh, this year 2024 uh, is Chinese blogging year, so I specially picked some, uh, specially picked some uh, tea ways related to blogging year, as you can see here. Uh, no matter how much I search for this name, nothing came up for me. Uh, S uh, S L F P G. Do you mean you are not able to find our uh, our, our account? Hello, Oni. Hello, hello. How are you? The name is Tom Fiction. Uh -huh. So, um, as I said, uh, this year is Chinese uh, Dragon Year uh, 2024. So, especially pick some. Uh, tea ways related to dragon with you guys and in front of you. Uh, uh, so I would like to uh, share those wonderful art, uh, artworks again as you can see. So I will especially uh, I ask you your purpose. <laughs> oh, sorry, I, I don't understand which which name are you talking about? Okay, so first of all, okay, you can see it's a tea tray. You can use it as a tea tray to uh, deposing uh, to match with your teapot, um, like uh, like I do. And simply, you can also use just the, to uh, to to use it to decorate something to. Use it to decorate your home. Huh? Okay. So, um, here you can see it's actually 100% Chinese hand, hand painted pattern on Chinese dragon. No, <laughs> actually we uh, we already wrote. I remember your question. We take the name on the comment many many times, and yeah, this is all full time. Uh, many times I remember. Uh, please uh, note it. Um, and you can see um, this, this is 100% Chinese hand painted from uh, Chinese porcelain capital Jin Legend. And you can see this actually is kind of uh, very typical famous uh, Chinese uh, grazing uh, ceramic called white and the blue uh, pers uh, porcelain. And in Chinese, we call it, uh, in Chinese, we call it Tsinghua uh, Si. Uh, I'll leave them in so you can see the details. It's a one. Uh, it's it's one hundred percent handmade uh, tea tree, and uh, our uh, our ceramic painter master uh, painted is the painted by hand on this tray. And on the bottom, there's a signature from our artisan Cao uh, Yi. And this kind of uh, grazing, uh, this kind of grazing we call it uh, cobalt pigment. Cobalt blue pigment. I, I will write 
on our screen so we can understand better. Probably uh, some of you have probably you have heard or visit some Chinese um, some cobalt pigment. Uh, probably uh, this is kind of uh, uh, this also is kind of uh, uh, glazing porcelain very famous in China. And he's also um, hand painted guy who wants to match with this tea tray. Also, the uh, pattern is Chinese dragon. And inside, you also have an inner pattern. So find questions. Yeah. And uh, for this cup, uh, um, it's different. The grazing is different from this uh, cobalt blue porcelain. The pigment is uh, the pigment is different, so this also one hundred percent hand made uh, hand painted from Jingde Jin. You can see uh, uh, our Chinese uh, Jingde Jin um, ceramic painting master uh, painted uh, this by his hands uh, by using uh, the black pigment, uh, and you can see the. Gold line, gold line, uh, gold line painting on the skin of uh, uh, the dragon is actually pen, uh, made of uh, made from pure twenty four k gold powder. That's why it looks so very shiny. And uh, on the bottom, this is the signature from uh, our artisan. Inside there is also one pattern. Uh, this section, this dragon series is specially uh, due for Chinese dragon year. So far, any questions? Also, in Chinese, uh, in, in Chinese culture, uh, Chinese phoenix and dragon is a divine match, divine couple. So, uh, probably you will uh, see in many patterns, Chinese dragon and the phoenix are always uh, are together. And this is also uh, hand painted Chinese phoenix on the cup. So this uh, pick, uh, this uh, painting uh, technique uh, is called uh, iron red. Uh, iron red. In Chinese, we call it fan hong. Uh, this cup is especially inner, the inner pattern, well, because uh, thanks to this inner beautiful inner uh, Chinese phoenix, when you uh, pour light. Or light uh, water, uh, tea water tea inside this cup it looks very very beautiful
No, and to and uh, the same same like this cup, uh, this bright gold uh, line painted on the necks, uh, especially you see the tail, uh, um, is also painted by uh, painted by pure twenty four K gold twenty four K pure gold. That's why it looks very shiny. You will really be uh, very surprised when you have in your hands, and you can really understand why we call uh, to, uh, to uh, we call uh, uh, we in in China we call Jin the Jin the place where uh, we produce these artworks, pottery artworks. We call it uh, Chinese porcelain capital, Jin uh, Jin. In China, we also call it. Porcelain capital. Uh, it's very really famous for its making a uh, uh, pottery porcelain history, and especially for this kind of hand, uh, this kind of a hand painting artwork. So, final questions. So if you are interested in, in those artworks, uh, please go to check our profile. Those, uh, all of them are 100% handmade and also hand painted, uh, but with a different pigment. Uh, this is the uh, beautiful porcelain I would like to share with you today. And later on, uh, for the moment, I will share. I will uh, share with you how to um, no big fruit or vegetable today to use. Now <laughs> we have a strawberry. Uh, Christian. Well, you wake up uh, very early every day. Okay, so uh, for the moment, I would like to share with you how to prepare to set up a Chinese Gong Fu Cha, uh, Gong Fu Cha, uh, to do a beautiful Gong Fu, Gong Fu Cha setting. Yeah, and also by the way, uh, we also have some um, drunken. Uh, we also um, I cannot mix tea with nothing. Uh, humor. Uh, <laughs> yes, uh, it depends on uh, for Chinese pure tea. We only drink pure tea alone, but. Uh, in our tea life today, first of the first part, I will uh, share with you how to bring uh, this Chinese Dan Chong uh, with uh, Chinese Gong Fu Cha style. It means real bread uh, without adding anything. And later on, uh, we will share with you how to make uh, Chinese Dan Chong milk tea with strawberry. And also, <laughs> I will forgot to share with this uh, lovely dragon tea table clothes with you. Uh, you can see. Uh, we have uh, four, five color available. This one. Can you see the lovely little dragon? Uh, this is this one is a cute version. Uh, uh, we also. We also have uh, another. Uh, uh, so you can see the little dragon. Uh, this one is especially we made for Chinese dragon here. Uh, four color available. Uh, also we have a uh, pink, pink color.
in color. Also this one, black color. Also uh, this color, a black color with uh, red dragon, it also looks very uh, uh, classical. And if you want a red color, a red dragon, we also have uh, so five color available. If you are interested in this uh, little lovely dragon tea table clothes, please go to check out for five. So any questions? So well, for the moment, we gonna share with you how to prepare, uh, how to set up a Chinese Kung Fu Cha, uh, Chinese Kung Fu Cha tea setting. So, uh, the tea table clothes I, I gonna use today is actually uh, pure made of made of uh, pure cotton, and. Um, First of all, uh, two color available. So first of all, why I'm gonna use this today because uh, uh, for the moment we are in winter, so I I just uh, personally like very much uh, plant uh, subject, uh, the, the plant or flower pattern on our tea table clothes, and you can see uh, okay. So this. This tea table clothes, um, you can see the pattern, uh, the, tea, the, the leaves, uh, the tree leaves pattern on this table clothes actually uh, is manual uh, plant, uh, a manual uh, uh, plant dyeing on this tea table clothes. Looks very uh, natural and uh, elegant. So I'm going to use uh, this tea table uh, clothes to to set up our tea uh, table today, okay. If you are interested in this uh, beautiful uh, menu plant uh, dining tea table clothes, please go to check out profile. Uh, the length is about one meter and uh, the, uh, uh, the length, uh, the width uh, is about 40, 40 cm. Uh, menu pattern pattern uh, is also one of our uh, traditional painting craft. Uh, you can see uh, menu pattern. So every pattern on this table clothes vary uh, one from one because all pattern, okay, all tea leaves are, are different. Natural uh, tea leaves are different. Large enough. Okay. So we, for the moment, we are finishing to uh, set up our tea table plus. How many mobile phone? Uh, totally, totally four. About two, two phones for watching, and two phones for camera, for for the camera. So I'm going to use uh, one of my very sky one. Okay, uh, I will uh, present you with more details. Uh, 
So I'm gonna use a guide one with the capacity of 120 mil to bring our Chinese oolong dan chong today. So uh, you just um, uh, okay to depose your tea table, uh, but you teapot um, in front of you, okay, with a uh, appropriate uh, distance uh, from your body, okay. The place the the place you feel uh, comfortable to. Uh, to use your teapot, very nice teapot, yes. I will show you the best the pattern, the best design. Okay, so uh, because today we will not bring with uh, Chan, uh, Chaozhou Kung Fu Cha style, but the Chinese Kung Fu Cha style. So I'm gonna use three, very hard to hear. Uh, can you hear? Can you hear clearly for a moment, really? Uh, so we're gonna use uh, a, a glass cup uh, in Chinese. We call it Gong Fu Cha Bear Cup. Okay. Because today I'm, I'm I will not use I'm not use three T. I will not bring this Chinese Kung Fu Cha, uh, Chaozhou Kung Fu Cha style. So I'm gonna use just one teacup for myself. Okay. So if you have, uh, because today I'm drinking alone uh, to present with you. So if you have uh, uh, your guest, you can just uh, put the teacups on the left side. Okay, so here's our little teapot to uh, to accompany, accompany with me. A little pitch. And here the glass, hey, can you see the, the little thing is for deposing our cover. So I just uh, put nearby the guy one and then we need a, a tea tower pattern okay okay so this uh, little tea tower is uh, my I cut from his tea table clothes uh, the same technique, uh, making technique, uh, menu, uh, menu plant uh, dining. Yeah, you can see. It's also very beautiful, <coughs> close to match with your uh, teapot. Great. Can you see the tea leaves? Natural uh, menu uh, plant uh, dining. So you can see. You can put the tea, take out the uh, tea tower just nearby your teapot. And in the later part, we will share with you how to uh, prepare Dan uh, Chong Oolong. Hello, hello, Nikon. Dan Chong Oolong with strawberry. Um, the This is the tea, visible, transparent uh, alcohol stove uh, we're going to use today. From this uh, visible cover, you can easily to see. You can see the open. So first, first of all, we're going to do. We input some alcohol. Uh, this alcohol lump looks not uh, is small, but when you just totally fill up, uh, 
put up the build up the the, the capacity. It can uh, you can it can support you uh, the open file for one and a half hour. However, the strawberry are more big, big than here. Really? Do you think it's big? Do you think it's bigger than European strawberry? set up our visible transparent stock a moment to be light up okay. and the teapot I'm gonna use is Chinese handmade Chaozhou kettle made from uh, Chinese uh, Chaozhou or road or uh, clay so we believe that uh, if you we believe that this kind of clay can soften and improve your tea quality. So, okay, we finish, for the moment, we finish our tea, finish to set up our tea table. Okay, bonjour. Uh, you like strawberries? Yeah, I like it very much so strawberries. Yeah. yeah, I like it very much strawberries. I don't know guys have you watched our previous live about Chinese Chaozhou Kung Fu Cha so in the uh, our I would like to shop fruits in China. <laughs> I I don't know. Uh, I so first of all, uh, I will introduce uh, this uh, wonderful Chinese oolong uh, called uh, Phoenix Dantong Fenghuang Dantong. With you, and I don't know. Have you, uh, for the friends in our tea life, have you heard or have you tried some Chinese oolong? If yes, please type uh, in your comment the name of uh, Chinese oolong. Uh, you have ever tried in our comment? Uh, so and physically, you can see it's kind of uh, streak, uh, streak, uh, oolong. Uh, so. Uh, just to take it like this, uh, strip and a large, a little bit large. So you can understand this kind of uh, tea is made from matured, rather matured tea leaves, not just the buds. So why I, for some reasons, I pick this to share with you today. So first of all, because oolong, yes, uh, this kind of uh, phoenix dantong oolong especially famous for its high, really high, refreshing fragrance. Also, we call it uh, perfume. Uh, uh, we, we call it in Chinese, it has a nickname. It's an HT, no, 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 H. Uh, uh, normally for Chinese oolong, uh, as I say, uh, most of them are famous, very really famous for their special fragrance. So. Uh, as you know, the mm, you know the natural fragrance will fade fade away uh, with the time passing. So the, in this uh, oolong, uh, uh, in Chinese we have a six grand tea categories. But in this ca oolong category, 
uh, we focus more on its uh, fragrance uh, tea prince of <laughs> yeah oolong uh, prince of peace <laughs> tea bag version so that's why uh, when uh, you can you can understand like this when a tea is very famous or we do focus on more on its fragrance normally uh, we will like we will not like to store it for a very long time. Uh, what prince of tea? Probably because he's very uh, Ulo is kind of very um, smell. Um, yeah, it does smell absolutely wonderful. Yeah, yeah, you can understand for this reason. Uh, very uh, fragrant reason. Uh, we call it prince of. Uh, <laughs> uh, so, but uh, yeah, I forgot to uh, okay. Brand name of that. Um, I also forgot one thing. I <laughs> forgot to introduce the name of this uh Dan Chong Oolong with you. Uh, so you can tell me that. We all have tea time, but it's not a time of the year. So this name, the name of this uh, oolong is called dark sheet, dark sheet dantong. So probably uh, <laughs> I already explained in our previous life. Uh, uh, it has a very, uh, very funny anecdote about this. Uh, it's ugly name dark sheet. Hmm. Hello, Dark Sheet Dan Chong. Uh, so just a long time before, when uh, the, the, the one tea farmer found this wonderful tea, uh, it tastes very really good, and he was very really worried that people will come to his tea garden to store his tea. So he just named uh, the, a very really ugly name on this wonderful tea for uh, you know, to to for uh, preventing preventing stealing tea uh, from his garden. Dark sheet, yeah, dark sheet. <laughs> Not sure. Uh, for a moment, this dark sheet oolong uh, has um, also been named renamed this tea, but uh, uh, <laughs> but a uh, dark sheet. Dark sheet remains very popular, so even it already has a new name, but we don't. Well, so but we don't. Uh, so, but we don't. Uh, Yeah, dark sheet is not beautiful thing. Yes, the yes, <laughs> no, but be, because this dark yeah, it, it sounds very uh very weird and ugly. But you know sometimes it can be a, the a special name can be a good marketing. But it it indeed it has new name. But a dark sheet is always uh dark sheet. This name always keeps popular. So. Uh, even nowadays, we call it dark sheet dance. So, um, because as what we say, this tea is especially famous. Um, if you focus more on its, uh, we focus more on its uh, wonderful high uh, fragrance. So we don't use. Just the boiled water to break with it. So first thing we're gonna do is to preheat our tea ware. Uh, sorry, from long time they call that shit because they don't want. Yeah. 
Um, <laughs> no, no, no. I think the the story I heard is uh, uh be, no, because the tea farmer was very worried that people would come to his tea garden to steal. Okay, the first thing we're gonna do is to uh, warm up, uh, preheat your your teaware. Okay, it's very important step. That's what we heard the story here. <laughs> uh, it's I think it's some kind of uh, uh, anecdote. Oh, yeah, once again, I forgot to uh, share with you the tea to water ratio. Uh, this guy one is about uh, 120 mil, so I'm going to use like 7 to 8 grams. For, uh, if you are just uh, first time to try it, uh, you can just uh, decrease your tea amount. Uh, but um, as for me, uh, personally, I will use like 7 to 8 uh, grams, uh, grams for uh, my teapot of 120 ml. Uh, so this one little uh, brass uh, scoop I'm gonna uh, uh, want to uh, share with you. Uh, this little tea accessory is very practical and convenient to use, especially when you uh, need to take some tea away from a tea jar or tea can. So this top, uh, the top part is made from Chinese hand forging uh, brass, and this part is made from Chinese very high quality red wood, and in this pattern, as you can see, very beautiful pattern, uh, we call it Buddha's hands. Can you see? Buddha's hands with tea leaf. Can you see? Oh, okay. So, um, well, it smells so good, this tea. Um, it's really practical to use, especially when you want to take some tea from your tea jar and tea. Seven, seven grams. Uh, if you are ready, okay. 
Okay. We are we finished to uh, warm up our tea way. And now oh I go, thanks for sharing time. Thank you, thank you, have a good day. Uh, you're gonna do your morning running. Okay. So when we finish uh, we'll finish to warm up our teapot. We just uh, pour our tea inside. Okay, in this, um, okay, we do, we can do one step, uh, we, in Chinese tea, we call it shaking fragrance, like this. And with, uh, because we just uh, uh, warm up our teapot, you know, it, it remains still morning run. <laughs> yes, have a, have a good morning run, uh, good energy, good, okay. have a good day. Uh, your memory is very really good. <laughs> yes, thank you. See you, see you next time. Okay, so we can just uh, take sleep, uh, smell. Wow. For the moment, you have a very warm, strong, dry, uh, baked tea leaves, fragrance, very pleasant, very warm. So the first, okay, so for the first break, we're going to raise our tea. Raise it and pull out. Okay, so when we finish raising our tea, oolong, so dark sheet, dan chong, hi, morning. A very pleasant fragrance uh, living on the cover. So keep your keep your kettle high and. The break time it must be very really short, okay? You can jump better like five to ten seconds. Because for the moment, uh, the tea is still very really hot, so we're gonna we're gonna enjoy the very really pleasant, high, refreshing, refreshing. Uh, tea fragrance. Oh, you have raised a very, very intense floral, a uh, refreshing fragrance, tea, floral fragrance living on the cover. Oh. Very, very pleasant and relaxing. 100% the natural uh, aromas from uh, our tea leaves. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot to let you share with you the tea color. The 
Okay, we're gonna do our second ring. Always keep your kettle high to stimulate uh, the higher tea fragrance. Water in and water out. Hello, this is how uh, this uh, beautiful dark sheet tea looks like bright, bright yellow color. So I'm gonna um, try my first sip. Hello. Hello, welcome to join. Well, the first sip is very amazing. The fragrance is very high, refreshing. You have a very strong a floral pleasant. Friends are very pleasant. Uh, you have a very strong flashing uh, fra floral fragrance living in your mouth. Mm. The tea aroma, floral tea aroma is very relaxing, sweet, refreshing. And if it's your uh, first time to uh, it's your first time to try. We also offer small uh, quantity like 50 grams. So wonderful, especially when you just uh, you try to smell. So by any questions? So by any questions? One minute we can try. So by any questions? Um, for the moment we are bringing Chinese Oolong uh, Phonics Danton. Phonics Danton. Fragrance is uh, the floral fragrance is high, uh, refreshing, uh, also very impressive. Hello. 
상점 만장입니다. 这里。And you can see there's uh, two colors. So uh, actually, first of all, uh, we paint. Uh, uh, yeah, you can see some blossoming uh, flowers on the branches. So this is called uh, Chinese uh, prune. Some is Chinese prune uh, blossom. Uh, also, uh, you can see there are two colors. Uh, this red color, we uh, this painting technique, we call it Chinese iron red, and uh, by using this kind of special uh, mixed uh, pigment to paint on uh, this beautiful guy one. Uh, then also the black pattern, black flower is also painted by Chinese special uh, black pigment, and one hundred percent hand painted and handmade. This kind of uh, flower um, will not uh, wither uh, in the cold weather. Uh, in the contrary, it will uh, blossom in, in very low temperature, in, especially in winter, in cold winter. So that's why uh, we just love very much this kind of uh, which I love very much this kind of uh, a flower called plume, plume blossoming. Uh, plume blossoming. Uh, because uh, in, Chinese tea, uh, in Chinese culture, this kind of uh, flower presents uh, a kind of uh, perseverance. Uh, so uh, for this reason, Chinese people especially uh, love uh, uh, Chinese people especially love this kind of prune uh, uh, blossoming. Prune uh, uh, blossom. Uh, the name of this flower is called prune blossom. Uh, it's called a plume blossom. And one hundred percent handmade Chinese Jingdezhen artwork, and also hand painted. So far, any questions? Okay, we're gonna do our um, we're gonna do our third ring. Hello. So to have a better or high uh, fragrance, uh, uh, I would suggest it to uh, you to use just the boiled water, light water. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. 
going to do our third ring. Okay, if you want to stimulate uh, the tea fragrance, keep your kettle keep your kettle high. Now, water in and water out. Because this tea we use a uh, high uh, tea to water ratio, uh, like for this guy one of uh, of um, uh, one hundred twenty mil, we use we actually use seven to eight grams. So in this case, when you pour, you want to have a better tea experience. Uh, uh, the tea bring time must be controlled, like water in and water out. So it means when you just uh, finish pouring water inside the kettle, uh, the teapot, you just uh, pour out uh, your tea uh, from the teapot. So far, any questions? Yeah. If you are interested in anything we are using in our tea live today, uh, please go to check our profile. Oh, uh, can you see the tea color? Uh, it's our third. Uh, green. Uh, the tea color looks very really bright, gold, yellow, honey color, very really beautiful. So, any questions? If you are interested in anything we are using in our tea line, please go to check our profile. dry tea leaves uh, smell so good. Chinese oolong, dan chong, dark sheet. Hello, morning. And also, um, this tea, um, this tea, special, uh, um, um, this tea has really, uh, um, as I say, it has really high, refreshing floral fragrance, but also you have a very pleasant aftertaste. Um, aftertaste. You have a very pleasant a sweetness after taste. Hello. The tea is really also very really smooth, not stringent and not bitter at all. We're going to do our uh, 
Hello from Santiago. <coughs> we can do our uh, face uh, green. I'm using just the boiled water from moment. Oh, water in or water out. Our fifth green, um, the color uh, maintains a uh, very beautiful uh, gold yellow honey color. And this tea, uh, this, this tea besides uh, uh, its um, very long lasting, uh, high freshing fragrance, also uh, this tea uh, additionally uh, you can bring it also kind of very long lasting you can it's kind of a tea you can bring many times because it maintains very rich compounds inside the tea leaves uh, so you can bring it uh, this wonderful dark sheet uh, for next dental at least uh, 15 times so it's our fifth ring actually So funny questions. <coughs> Any questions? Uh, if you are interested in anything we are using in our tea life, please go to check our profile. For the moment, we also offer a small quantity for this tea, uh, for the uh, like of uh, fifty grams. If it's your first time to try Chinese Oolong, this tea can be your great choice. A beautiful uh, Chinese uh, fruit blossom uh, tea set. Hello. Uh, the cow looks very beautiful. Uh, this little um, thing for uh, deposing our cover, I would like to introduce with you. And actually, you have different uh, pattern inside the little ball. Uh, how to use it? Simply, you just uh, put your cover lid on it. Uh, it looks like a little bony, a little bony uh, looking at moon. Can you see? So funny questions. Okay. So if you are interested in um, this little bony voice, I've often used uh, to de deposit my uh, guy one cover or teapot cover. A uh, very lovely um, bony is looking at the moon. Uh, it's flat on, uh, yeah, this, yeah, two, yes, for standing up on the table, yeah. And on the top and the bottom is flat. Okay.
uh, for enjoying, uh, for enjoying, thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, for enjoying the most uh, this wonderful high uh, uh, refragrant tea, uh, you must enjoy very much its uh, wonderful uh, fragrance. So like this. Don't, uh, don't forget to smell. The fragrance is very elegant, delicate, refined. And 100% natural. Okay, we're gonna do our sixth. Keep your kettle high. Okay. Water also for this tea, uh, water in, water out, the green time must be short. And also please remember to uh, to to put out every seed of um, um, you have to try you have to pour every um, wow. smells so good so fragrant refreshing floral fragrance If you are interested in anything we are using in our tea life today, please go to check our profile. So we're going to do our To our seventh. As it's our seventh green, uh, we can just uh, prolong a little bit to the green time. Uh, before it was our uh, water in, water out for a moment, we can stay like uh, seven, eight seconds. Okay. But please remember to drop every seed uh, clear inside uh, this teapot. Uh, your tea set is very really lovely. Uh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, uh, I will show you more details. Uh, actually, this is painted with a uh, Chinese uh, flower called um, Plum Blossom. Plum Blossom. Um, I don't know if you have, have in your region, uh, uh, probably not because it's a kind of a Chinese uh, special flower. And why uh, we uh, Chinese people so love, love very much this uh, plume blossom because this kind of, this flower will not wither in cold weather. Uh, in the country, this plume blossoming uh, will blossoming in winter, uh, so also in Chinese uh, culture, uh, this kind of uh, flower presents a spirit of uh, uh, preservance. Uh, One hundred percent uh, handmade teapot and uh, painted by Chinese Jingdezhen artisan. One hundred percent hand painted. Also, uh, we have uh, uh, this cup, this tea cup, uh, to match it. With. Mm -hmm. 
you probably uh, it's rare to, uh, uh, probably it's very rare to see this kind of uh, grazing uh, painting on the ceramic uh, outside uh, China. Uh, so this is uh, how this set looks like. Uh, blossoming, plume blossom, a uh, plume blossom uh, in cold weather. Very beautiful. The, also, this is personally this is one of my very favorite too. Well, this day, um, the uh, we already green for seven times, but for the for the moment, uh, the tea taste the texture. A fragrance keep almost the same like the first green. The colors a little bit. So funny questions. Did brick, uh, what do you mean brick? Uh, you mean the tea set? Well, once again, when you are using Gaiwan, okay, uh, uh, take the chance to smell the cover because uh, flag tea, uh, floral tea fragrance will leave it on the cover and you will have, will have a wonderful experience. You're holding water in. Uh, the water in. Do you mean this, uh, this little glass cup? Uh, what's the call? I like uh, the brown thing uh, in your right. Uh, do you think this one? This one? On your right. Do you need a tray for tea For the moment, uh, the next green, uh, we're going to do our eight, eight green. The tea keeps very soft, uh, mellow, uh, intense. So uh, that we say, uh, we Chinese oolong uh, combines a lot of uh, tea qualities, qualities including fragrance, you have fragrance, uh, uh, you have the taste, you also have the um, um, aftertaste, aftertaste, because in Chinese tea we, uh, 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 we can we define uh, the quality of tea based on um, in 
based on many uh, elements. So uh, this tea, uh, for me, Stan Chong duck sheet, contains a lot of uh, tea qualities. Just inside one tea, uh, uh, for those reasons, uh, why I pick uh, this wonderful Dam Chong to share with you today. Uh, if you are interested in for this wonderful Dan Chong Oolong, uh, please go to check our profile. Uh, for the moment, we also um, offer small quantity like 50 grams. Uh, so, final questions? So, any questions? The tea fragrance is very, very refreshing. A floral, a floral aroma, very elegant. What flavor tea you sell? Uh, this tea, um, what this tea? Uh, this uh, dark sheet. Uh, this is a dark sheet. Mm, dark sheet. So, uh, dark sheet. Uh, this dark sheet is actually uh, more. Uh, Dominant for uh, his light, light refreshing a uh, floral light, a uh, floral uh, fragrance. Thank uh, you. It's our eighth. Uh, because it's our eighth uh, brand, so uh, we just uh, pour launch a little bit the. Uh, tea brain time, like uh, 10 seconds. Flavor tea. Uh, mm, uh, do you mean uh, flavored? Uh, do you mean the tea? Uh, <laughs> I don't totally understand. Do you mean just for this dark sheet uh, with other flavor, uh, or you mean uh, some flower tea? Uh, flower tea, uh, for example, tea ending flowers. Uh, tea ending uh, flowers of like rose taste. Oh, taste, or oh, just for this dark sheet, uh, just for this danton, uh, just for this danton, oolong, or oh, you mean other tea type. Blossoming, uh, blue blossom. Mm. It's not. It's really looks really beautiful. Elegant, refined. Uh, for this uh, uh, phoenix danchong oolong, we also uh, we have other. Uh, tea type, a uh, tea uh, fragrance type like Xingren, Xingren, Xingren Xiang, uh, Xingren fragrance. Otherwise, uh, if you are even interested in different uh, tea flavor, uh, phoenix danchong types, uh, we, uh, I think in our shop we also offer a small, 
sample with eight different tea, very, uh, tea flavors. Uh, for the moment, I don't know if I have the box with the, the, the powder. But this duck sheet is the one I'm, um, I would re uh, recommend the most for uh, trying to reach your first time to heard or understand, to heard or uh, understand this uh, wonderful transphonic center. Have you heard mint flavor tea? Um, oh, I understand. Oh, do you mean of, of uh, some kind of um, scented tea, right? Scented tea. We have uh, rose white tea. Uh, mint, for the moment, mint flavor tea. Uh, we don't have that yet. We don't have that yet. But you can try, like uh, uh, jasmine. Uh, we have. Uh, Chinese sweet osmanthus tea. Uh, we have uh, rose white tea. We have uh, Chinese dry tangerine tea. Uh, uh, if you are interested, in, uh, please go to check uh, our shop link, and you will find our uh, tea Chinese tea section. And you click, and you will see the, a lot of uh, scented Chinese tea. Uh, if, yes. Uh, if we are not able to find the thing what you want, uh, please just uh, message me because for the moment we are not finished to end to, uh, we don't finish to uh, end uh, all uh, Chinese tea, uh, including uh, pure Chinese tea and uh, uh, scented Chinese tea uh, in our uh, shop. And also this um, uh, Chinese handmade uh, kettle from our Chinese, uh, our Chinese very really, really famous tea town called Chaozhou. Uh, yeah. This is uh, one uh, handmade kettle from the city Chaozhou. Uh, um, we do believe, uh, first of all, I would like to introduce the uh, pottery, the clay we made, we are making. With this uh, one, this uh, this special clay, we uh, we actually made uh, we actually made this cattle from this wonderful um, Chinese clay, and we believe that uh, this kind of clay can uh, definitely improve and soften our water inside this cattle. So, guys, if you, for example, you are searching. Uh, cattle to improve your tea. Uh, for, the mo for example, your uh, the place, uh, the, the place where you live in, your tea colony is not good enough. You can try to use this kind of uh, uh, cattle to improve your tea quality. So, any questions? Okay, you see, when the water starts to boil inside this kettle, you will uh, you will see uh, this the kettle lid will start to tick tock tock to make a noise to uh, remind you that the water inside this teapot is just the boil. Uh, we also call it dancing kettle. Uh, and
And can, can you see now the kettle is dancing to make noise to remind you that the water inside the, tea, the kettle is boiled. So this is a one uh, special particular point uh, from Chinese Chaozhou cattle. Yeah, cute song. <laughs> yes. So we're gonna do our eighth, uh, no ninth three. We can just uh, in, uh, increase the rain time from like uh, 15 seconds. Chinese Chaozhou cattle. Uh, also, it's our this is our nice screen. Uh, you can see the color remains the same, uh, yellow honey color. I thought it wasn't good to water to work to be born. Uh, what do you mean, Carol? Why isn't good? This tea demands very really high, just very high temperature. Uh, uh, the best is uh, just to boil the water to bring this Chinese uh, oolong, uh, Chinese, Chinese oolong, the mixed dungeon. Hello, I'm fine, thank you. Natural, floral, very natural. Very natural floral fragrance just form uh, our tea leaves without adding anything. Uh, because you could burn the tea leaves and uh, change the taste. No, no, Carol. It depends on in Chinese tea. In Chinese tea, uh, it's I, I, um, here we only talking about uh, Chinese. Tea. Uh, it depends on what, because in Chinese, according to different tea uh, uh, fermentation level and the making process, we classify six six grand categories for Chinese tea. So it depends on what kind of uh, uh, Chinese tea you gonna bring. So in the case of this case, one hundred percent, I'm sure. You the better use just the boil high, very high temperature uh, to destimulate the tea fragrance. Uh, it depends on what kind of tea. But normally in China we all say high quality Chinese tea can support one hundred percent Celsius degree water. Uh, maybe for the green tea though. Uh car uh Mm, 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 yes, if you, uh, for example, your green tea is made from a very soft butt, yes, uh, yeah, you can just uh, use lower uh, temperature, but we all say if your tea, no matter just for green tea, if your Chinese, your tea, the Chinese green tea is uh, good enough, it can 100% support very high temperature. Uh, because, yes, but in the case we are bringing oolong today, so we just use um, just the boiling water. Okay. Thank you, you're welcome. You're welcome. 
Yeah, you can, for example, uh, like a uh, Chinese age the dark tea. For uh, several uh, several tea types, you uh, you the better use just boil very high temper uh, temperature tea type like uh, Chinese age the dark tea, uh, Chinese oolong. Okay. Uh, uh, so for example, you uh, for Chinese green tea. Uh, oh, 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 okay. I forget. Oh, yeah. One for Chinese dark uh, aged dark tea, Chinese oolong aged white tea. Uh, you the better use high temperature uh, uh, tea water. But for example, like the Chinese green tea, uh, Chinese uh, very uh, very high grade white tea. Actually, you can appropriately uh, in a uh, decrease your water temperature but anyway uh, high temperature is uh, like a text for uh, all Chinese uh, tea types because we actually uh, when we do professional Chinese tea evaluation the tea water temperature we're using actually just the boil just the boiled water to test those Chinese tea. Wow. It's our knife, it's our knife ring, and you can see the color uh, keeps the same. So, final questions? Uh, also for silver needles, um, uh, silver needles. Uh, actually, as I say, if your silver needles, uh, the quality is good enough, just the boil the water. Uh, you, the your your silver needle needles can support uh, very high temperature too. But if you want to, for example. Um, but we all know uh, Chinese silver needle made from very soft, uh, very soft tea buds. So, for example, in the case you like your tea, uh, you like your tea more intense, you can increase your tea temperature. But in the case you like your tea more sweet, okay, more sweet, you can just appropriately uh, decrease your tea temperature. And otherwise, you can just do two. Comparison, uh, just the boiled water to break uh, your tea, or you you or, or another okay another method way you in decrease your tea temperature. So you make two comparison to see what kind of taste fragrance you uh, prefer. Is it good for hair? What, what do you mean good for hairs? Okay. So for the moment we're gonna do our temp, our temp. We must the full launch a uh, little bit the break time. Uh, still the tea is still very fragrant. Beneficial for hands to tea is herbal. <laughs> So here is our tenth, tenth spring. Yeah. 
Mikala keeps saying, stew, yellow, oh, God, hand color. So funny questions. Hello. Hello, if you don't have any questions, uh, we will finish our tea live today. Um, thank you so much for joining with me today. And if you are interested in anything we are using in our tea live, uh, please go to check our profile. And thank you so much. Um, uh, I wish you have a great night or great day. And thank you so much for uh, seeing you next time. I'm John Wade, what are you doing? <laughs> But you during the very first um, infusion. Uh, what do you mean? What you during the the first uh, infusion? The first infusion is to raise your oolong, so we don't drink the first uh, infusion. Oh no, we don't drink. Um, we don't drink the first infusion. Um, we uh, for this uh, dark sheet, dark sheet oolong. We don't drink the first uh, infusion. Uh, also, the first um, because the first infusion is for uh, rising, just for rising. Thank you, Carol. Uh, um, guys, thank you so much, and th thank you so much for joining with us today and uh, see you next uh, time. Uh, uh, we will do our next uh, live um, on Sunday, uh, probably uh, probably Saturday night in your uh, in your place because uh, for the guys, if you are from um, uh, North America and uh, Latin America, probably it's for Saturday night for you guys and Sunday morning here uh, in China. So thank you so much again and see you next time and have a great day and great night and um, take care. See you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.